Dr. Mika is a band from Bristol. Uh, the way that I like to describe our sound is dirt and soul because we're mixing that heavy cutting sort of dirty sound with the soul sound of the vocals and the melody so that's what we're about. So I'm from Somerset near the Glastonbury Festival which is really what inspired me and the free party scene uh, kind of in the countryside and all of us have come from different areas uh, from around the southwest and we've all merged into Bristol which is where we all live and work and uh, make music. We are Dr. Mika and we're bringing you music in the night. I used to be sat in a car with headphones on when I was 16, 17 in the countryside listening to that music. When recording, you know, more guitar-like bands, it's all played live, they're all in a studio, whereas ours is all built up more like a piece of art. And that's kind of how we make music, so it's all sort of built up at home in, in a really organic way. And then it'll just be mixing it and, you know, finishing the track. That's how we, we make the music. I prefer headphones when mixing that are really, really accurate rather than being hyped on the bottom end or the top end. And I want them to translate on every sound system I hear afterwards. You need to hear what's actually happening on the record so that you know when you're mixing on them that you're getting what you think you're getting. So Oppo, oh, they're really good for that because they're not hyped on the top end. At first when I put them on, I was sort of thinking perhaps they're slightly dull, but they weren't dull at all, they were just accurate. I've used them in the studio as well, and they've got like a nice bass push on them as well. Um, so when you're comparing it, it's nice to have them in the studio. For me, they're just invisible. When I was DJing, I didn't have to think about this snagging or altering this or that. And that's what I want in a headphone when I'm DJing. I want to think about DJing, not always moving this stuff. So that was why I really liked them in, uh, in the DJ situation. So I like the way they isolate actually. They feel the quality and they, they, I like the, the weight of them. The weight is really nice. Uh, it's really important for what we do as well because we're obviously like, Clive does DJ sets, we're in the studio all the time. Um, so it's important to get like a crossover of all things and these headphones do it really well. What do you reckon, Ben? Do you like playing Glastonbury? <laughs> it's always a pleasure. <laughs> Back again for the ninth year running. It's the best, the best festival in the UK. It's just what it's all about, Glastonbury. <laughs> One thing that went really wrong, we were playing on the Arcadia stage at Glastonbury and they were running the generator on the different types of oils and they got fish bones from the oils stuck in the generator in the filter and it shut the generator down. So our set unfortunately was cut short. Well because obviously we got like backing and stuff, so like when that went down it was just a bit odd. Growing up I went to Reading and Leeds Festival, that's one I'd really like to play. Um, also Benicassi in, in Spain as well, I'd really like to play that one. I'd quite like to go to Japan. That's probably it. <laughs> <laughs> Japan, America. We always try and make an effort to see the culture and the area that we're in. We're all quite into you know, other cultures and things like that. I'd like to play everywhere, I'd just like to see the world with music. We're going to finish the album, then we're arranging the tour. It's going to start in the UK, you know, along the M road, so basically all the major cities in the UK. And then we're going to go to Europe, hopefully. The new album is going to be called Dirt and Soul, which perfectly describes our sound. And it's going to be out, I reckon, early 2016. 
say that the music's become more uniform, this new album. Um, now I'm getting more into one sound. I think that's really important when you make an album, that it feels like it's come from one place. Uh, so you're on an experience from the start to the end. Choirs, orchestras. Yeah, that's it's true. Just, yeah. It's, it's gone. Yeah, it's, it's yeah. Gone, gone more epic. It. Yeah, this album. Yeah. It's more epic. It's it's a really cool project.